our guest this morning, the famed investor Jim Rogers. Uh, he's also the author of A Gift to My Children and Chairman of Rogers Holdings. He joins us on the line from Singapore. Jim, what do you think of all this talking? You know, the G20 has gone on this conference call. We're still awaiting a decision from the EU finance ministers. Uh, what's the deal here? Well, Susan, I'm sure there'll be some kind of papering over the which will come out of all of this. Politicians try to push things off into the future so that they don't have to deal with them. But this is all going to make the situation worse, not better. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's going to make the no, situation worse. No, Jim, I hope worse. you're feeling okay. I do, too. Uh, I hope it's going to make it worse, not better, because in the end, we, you still have to pay the debt off. And the idea, you know, t three weeks ago or four weeks ago, they were talking about 25 million for Greece. Now they're talking about over 100 million for Greece. So you can see the gigantic amounts of the problems which exist. Yeah, in fact, they're looking at a possible $600 billion lending facility uh, for the Eurozone just to ensure liquidity for the uh, sovereign states there. But, uh, you know, what about the Euro? We're seeing it recover uh, slightly this morning. Some are calling this just uh, short covering. But uh, do you think the Euro is a dead currency, the common currency? Well, I own the euro, so let's hope it, at least I hope it rallies anyway. <laughs> but there are gigantic short positions in the euro. Of course, I would have said that a week ago, too, and it went down. Um, in the end, I don't think the euro will survive 10 years, 15 years from now, but at the moment, we'll probably have a rally. Okay, Jim, that's interesting. You're going long on the euro here. Uh, when do you think we we'll, might see some recovery? Well, we'll see. If they come up with some kind of solution which, sound, which sounds sound, then they will, it will probably have a rally. You know, there are huge, mm -hmm. huge short positions in the, in the euro, and it's, always, it's usually better to be on the other side of gigantic short positions than I am. But maybe I'm the one who will lose money this time. <laughs> oh, Jim. Now, if you think the euro is going to be a dead currency in, say, 10 to 15 years, I mean, what, what happens to the uh, EU members and the states? Are we looking at contagion here with more uh, sovereign states to fall? Well, of course we are. I mean, when you say sovereign states, there are lots that are bankrupt. The U.K., U.S., I mean, it, Greece is not the only one that's got a huge problem. And none of the states that I know of, other than maybe Ireland, are doing anything about their problems. The U.S. is going deeper into debt. The U.K. is going deeper into debt. Even if you look at the Greek plan, their deficits are going to continue. They're not going to go away. They're just going to be smaller. So the debts will continue to pile up. This is this is not solving. the idea that you can solve a problem, Susan, with too of, of too much debt and too much consumption, with more debt and more consumption, defies belief. But that's what these politicians are trying to do. Mm -hmm. So you're not surprised to see more selling then taking place on Friday, despite the fact that I guess a thousand point drop on Thursday was pinpointed to uh, computer uh, program selling. What about shorts? Uh, do you have more shorts on these days, Jim? Well, if we're talking about stocks now, it's, it's a different, different conversation. I, do, I would expect the stock market to continue to have problems over the next little while. I mean, the stock market went up, Susan, for 13 or 14 months in a row with, with no correction at all, essentially no correction at all. And that's not normal. So it's time for a correction. Uh, whenever there's a time for a correction, the market finds a reason to, to correct, uh, whether it's agrees or, or who knows what. Uh, the market, yeah. in my view, is, is going to continue to correct for a while. So, uh, Jim, looking at last week's uh, stock market action, have you put on more shorts since then? Uh, I, I have. I think I put in one more short position last week, yes. Uh, you never have enough shorts when things collapse, as you know. But I, I do have more shorts. I, as you, as you, I think you know. I think, well, yeah, we discussed it. I haven't had any shorts for about 18 months. And then yeah. I started shorting a month or two ago. Yeah, let me ask you this. Uh, looking at the market, I mean, uh, any, any uh, contradiction here? Maybe putting on some longs with uh, the drops that we've seen, the declines? No, I haven't, because nearly every asset class had a very strong rally for those 13 or 14 months. Uh, I, own enough, I have enough longs, and if, if anything, I need more protection, uh, to more balance on the short side. I've got my currencies. I've got my, my, my longs. Now I need to worry about a few shorts. Hey, Jim, do you want to share with us uh, what you're going short on, what you're going long on these days? Well, I, I'm not going long anything, as I said, but I am. I, I've shorted some, I uh, shorted an emerging market index. I shorted a, a, you know, it's a basket of emerging market stocks. I shorted uh, an index of American uh, over the counter stocks, uh, the NASDAQ stocks, and I shorted one large uh, international bank. A financial okay, institution, now, I should say. Financial institution. Okay, let me ask you this, uh, Jim. We talked about silver uh, the last time uh, you were on, I think on Friday. You said that's something that uh, looks pretty good these days. So maybe something that you might want to go long on. But uh, what about oil prices, other commodities at this point? 
Well, I'm watching it. Is I, what I said about silver was I said if you want to buy precious metals, I would think about silver rather than gold. I, I own both. I own both. Just that silver is depressed and gold is not. Gold is making all-time highs in some currencies. Uh, I, I'm not buying any commodities. I'm not selling any commodities by any stretch of the imagination because the governments are going to start printing even more money. But I'm I'm not buying anything. I'm just I'm just watching. Okay, well, in the past, you talked about buying the RMB, the yuan. You said bet on China. That's only one of the markets that you actually believe in. But uh, what about the calls for this week for the yuan to revalue? Looks like uh, those calls are being put on the side burner as we have uh, a trade deficit for the second straight month. Uh, but when do you expect the uh, yuan to actually appreciate? Are you expecting any appreciation this year? Well, I would have expected it by now. I would have expected it by 2009. So it shows how bad I am at market timing. Uh, I have no idea when the Chinese will, will finally make their currency convertible. They know they have to in order to have a, a viable major international economy. You cannot do that with a blocked currency. But, Susan, I have no, no – as I said, I thought they would do it by last year. You better ask the Chinese because they, they know more about what's going on than I do. But I, but I am okay. optimistic about the renminbi. It's just a question of, of when, not if, if you ask me. Okay, Jim, I'm going to go full circle here before I let you go, because what if, what if we have the EU finance chiefs do announce uh, this $600 billion lending facility in the next half hour or so? Are you going to make any moves off that? No, uh, I would presume that the currency would rally. I will just watch that. If the, uh, if the stock markets rally, then I, it may give me a chance to add some more shorts in the next week or so. I don't know. It depends on how things evolve. Because as I said, Susan, this is not solving the problem. This is just pushing the problems out into the future, they hope. It's the same thing that the U.S. did in 2008 and 2009, that most of the world did in 2008 and 2009. We haven't solved our problems. We're just sort of pushing them into the future, the politicians hope. I, I don't think it's going to work. People talk about the problems that our grandchildren are going to face and our children are going to face. No, Susan, mm -hmm. it's the problems we're going to face. I mean, these, these, stagger, these deaths okay. are so staggering, we're all going to get hit with the problem. Jim, thank you for sharing your time this morning. Jim Rogers of Rogers Holdings.